What's up guys? It's been a couple days since I made this uh, made a video. Quick little update. I've embarrassed myself and I made a fool of myself at least twice, if not three times. <laughs> Over drinking, late into the night, little arguments, and just kangry being angry. Yeah, so anyways, on a lighter note, I am at Sanford Mixed Martial Arts. Uh, I just took a chance and went in and applied for a job with the most elite fucking team in the country of like a hundred plus pro fighters. And they kind of looked at me <laughs> like I'm fucking crazy. And I knew that, that they would. And the lady went to go try to pull, I think, what is it, Ernest, uh, Ernesto? Tried to talk to me and they just said, nah, we ain't wasting our time. Um... But yeah, I tried. I came here. I know you can't just walk into a facility like this. I know it's invite only. I know if I don't get pulled, if I'm not with somebody coming in here, then I'm not going to be invited. But uh, yeah, maybe I'll just hang around for about five minutes. Maybe I'll get lucky and I'll see uh, Ian Heinish or some something. I know he comes here, met him in Thailand, became kind of friends with him, spar with him twice. He kicked me in the head one time, and I still came forward. That was a, uh, I got his respect that day. But yeah, yachting, I'm hitting brick walls. I gotta reinvent myself and try to do this cook thing. And it's gonna require more money. And a couple more prerequisites. And I'm going to have to learn how to cook again. So I have to figure out what the F I want to do. Do I want to be uh, in fighting? Yachting? Or cooking? And blend them somehow. I don't know how that's going to work out. But yeah. Here we are. It's uh, January 31st, I believe. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, just having some issues. But, yeah, we'll get through it. And, uh, check in later. Peace. So, I didn't want to resort to this, but, uh, I might be working in a restaurant around the way from the house, crew house. Um, yeah, it's kind of my plan B, but it is attached to, like, a boating area, pull up, people can pull their boats up to the restaurant, it's kind of a fine dining element, and uh, kind of just walked in randomly yesterday, applied with an application and dropped off my resume, and they gave me an interview on the spot, and the basic guy told me he wants to hire me, but come back in tomorrow, speak with another guy, and here I am, so wish me luck, we'll see how it goes. So what's up guys? I'm just having a solo lunch. My horoscope told me to take some time for yourself today and um, just get away. That's what it said. And over the course of the last couple of days, like I was saying, I haven't been myself. I was myself for a whole month. Like raw, uncut, unfiltered myself. When you're that much raw, uncut, uncut unfiltered content, I can't help but to, um, you know, have a few speed bumps, as they say. So, anywho, have a little lunch, and um, yeah, I went for this job interview for a restaurant, boat yard. Um, I don't want to say it went well, but I don't want to say it went bad. I felt like it was a surprise for the people who were there. And, 
that being said, I just kind of roll with it, you know what I mean? And uh, yeah, I'm finally getting sleep. I'm finally learning to just kind of keep my mouth shut. Someone once told me my mouth is going to be my biggest fucking problem. I talk too much and it gets me in trouble. So part of me is going to pull back from uh, trying to be too friendly with everybody. And what I mean by that is I just kind of like became too close with people. I was calling them my family, telling them I love them, you know what I mean? Like my brothers, like my my friend's mom, like, you know, I need, I don't, I don't know these people at the end of the day. I don't know. They don't know me. I don't know them. They're just strangers I live with. And it just so happens to be that they're all cool strangers and I like all of them. But that might be a problem when you have connections with people, you know, you just enjoy their company. You enjoy, you just hang out. You tell stories. You just go. So anyways... Yeah, I'm having this change of heart. I gotta, I gotta do this chef thing. I think that's my only chance in this yachting world. Not to mention, after all the people I've talked to, I've talked to some high-level chefs. One of them's making twelve to fifteen thousand dollars a month. Yeah, fifteen grand a month, chefing, and getting all the perks that come with it. So that's a lot better than washing boats. And being a fucking somebody's bitch to me. That's how I feel. So, yeah. <laughs> As you can see, it's a frustration on my face. So one of the chefs put me onto this thing called the ship uh, ship's cook assessment. Okay, ship's cook assessment. I never knew about this. I never heard about this. It's an $1,800 course. It's not even a course. It's like a fucking test. They look at you. They watch you. They see if you're capable of doing things for like three days straight. So it's like a whole like, yeah, we're going to be standing over your shoulder watching you for three days. Cook this, cook that, do this, do that. It's no walk in the park, let me tell you. And there's like eight prerequisites, eight pre things, eight requirements you need to even take this assessment. And I have set I have seven of them. Seven. I have seven of them. The only one I'm missing is one month of sea time. One month of sea time. I don't know how I'm gonna get one month of sea time. What am I gonna take a month long cruise? I don't know how I'd one just attain sea time. You know, I might have to hit up Dougie Allen and get on his fishing charter back in Myrtle. But yeah. I was supposed to go to this AA meeting on Sunday. It didn't work out. And you know what? I'm glad it didn't work out in a way. Because I'm not ready to be that guy. Especially in this setting. You can't you... It's, I feel like it's already hard enough to be in this setting. Living with strangers. And just kind of like turning a blind eye to shit. I find if like there's... If I'm feeling better about things, then I don't care. I don't, I don't think about shit so much. And I just let it slide. I'm just like, whatever. Whatever. The thing is, I just gotta learn to watch my mouth. And just not be a fucking asshole to people. No matter what. No matter what. So yeah, that's where we're at. That's